Tinker Time. Let's get started. So at first we'll take a block, bring it out here and the dimensions will be 20 and then this will change to 30 millimeters. Okay, and then for the height, three millimeters. Okay, all right. And now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna make a duplicate, okay? And then we're gonna just scoot it right over here out of our way. And next we're gonna make the hinge pieces. So now we'll grab a cylinder, bring it out here, spin it 90 degrees. And we're now we're gonna change the dimensions of this to eight millimeters by eight millimeters. And this will also be eight millimeters. Now we wanna take this and we want to get it aligned with the edge of this other piece. Now you wanna take your snap grid and you wanna make sure that this is set to 0 0.1 millimeters. It defaults at 1.0. So change it to 0 0.1 millimeters for this. That way we have finer control. And now as you can see, it does this little reflective deal. That's how you know that the pieces are flush. Now, as we look at this, we don't want these to be too overlapping, so we want this to just barely connect. That'll do right there. So now we're gonna make a duplicate of that piece. We'll hold the shift key and use the arrow key, and we're gonna move the part over. Now let's get in, take a closer look, and make sure that we get these perfectly aligned. Now it's doing a little reflective deal, so we know that that is flush with that, okay? Now, we're gonna make a duplicate of that and it's just gonna jump another piece over there. It duplicated the action that we made too a second ago. So now you can see just barely in that piece as well. Now for this piece, we want 13.5 millimeters on the length instead of eight. So 13.5, okay. Now we're gonna align these. So we'll select both pieces and we'll align those in the center. And we're gonna double check that we're not too far into our piece here. Looks like we are just barely, and that's about right. Same as the others, okay? Now, we were able to do that by keeping everything in alignment here. We have these where we want them, so we're gonna combine both of these pieces. Combine those, combine those. Now we're gonna select everything and then turn it over 180 degrees. Now we're gonna fill in these gaps. So to do that, we're just gonna grab a square and we can already see that we're just gonna need to drop it down. Okay, and this is kinda like just fitting it into place. So we're just gonna move it down to make it little and we're gonna fill in this gap. So we'll start with that. And then we'll hit the cruise key right here up here. We'll grab the white dot and we'll move it up to the surface of this piece right here. As we move this in, what we're gonna do we're gonna make this a little taller, and then we're gonna take it and drop it down. This whole area needs to be covered, so right there. Now, the next thing is we want it to be flush with the top, right there. And there we go. And now, we're gonna take this and we're gonna just move it out to where we are at the exact halfway mark, which you can see is this little ridge right there. Okay, great. Okay, perfect. So we have that where we want it. We're gonna take that piece and we're gonna duplicate it. And we're just gonna move it directly over here. Now, we'll make sure that it's lined up, which, there we go. It lined up perfectly with the edge there. Okay. Then we're gonna bring it in and we just want it to line up here, just like we did right there. And we wanna double check that it's in the center the direct middle piece of this, which looks like it is. Now we're gonna duplicate this item, make this a little bit longer. Then we wanna get down here and make sure that it lines up perfectly. There we go. It's lined up perfectly with that piece. So we can see there and it's almost perfect here. Let's go in just a hair. There, perfect. We have everything where we want it. This piece right here, a little too long. We wanna make sure that that goes in all the way. All right, that side will work. Okay, and then this side, we'll bring it in just a little bit. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, okay? Now, 
we'll combine these. Combine that piece. We'll combine these. Combine. All right, those look great. Now we'll select both pieces and we're gonna spin it back over 180 degrees. There. Next, start with the cylinder hole. Okay, we're gonna rotate that 90 degrees. All right, and then this is gonna be six millimeters. Okay, we'll make that six. And the height will also be six. Okay. And for the length, we're gonna do 24 by 30. Okay, so 24 by 30, enter. Now we're gonna select both of these pieces. We're gonna hit the alignment key, select the middle alignment. Next, we're gonna also do the middle alignment here. So now we just have to bring this piece over and put it right in the middle, okay? And we'll make sure we get it lined up good here. Let's say that's perfect. That looks good. And we will combine those pieces. Awesome. Next, we're going to grab a cylinder piece and we're gonna move that 90 degrees real quick. Okay, and then the dimensions for this one are gonna be 5.3 millimeters, 5.3, 5.3. And then the length on this piece is 22.5 millimeters, 22.5, got it. Same thing, we're gonna select both pieces. We're gonna line in the middle here. Then we're gonna line in the middle here. And next, we'll take this and we'll move it over just like we did with the other piece. One way that we can make sure it's a little easier to tell is we'll just make this see-through, okay? All right, and then we'll go, we'll just put that right there, okay? I'd say that's perfect. Now we'll make this a solid piece again, okay? And we'll combine these pieces. All right, next we're gonna take this and we're gonna spin it 180 degrees. And we're gonna take these and we're gonna select both pieces. Now we're gonna align them in the center, okay? And we'll go down here and select this piece and just tab over a couple until it's perfect. There we go, it's perfect. Now the last thing we need to do is make sure that we cut out the little pieces that are necessary so that it'll function properly when you go to close and open the hinge. So we'll grab a square piece here and we'll take that in and it doesn't need to be too big. But what we're gonna do is bring out a little piece from right here. So we'll get that in and we want it to come out about that far, just about that far from the edge. And we don't want it to go in too far. Now down here, we want it to be as close to this piece, but not touching it. So about as close as we can get. And that is about perfect right there. Now we just want to duplicate this piece and we're going to just hold the shift key and use your arrow over key like that. Okay, and we'll come down and then come back with it. And good, that's perfect. Nice and close, but not touching. All right, it takes care of those two pieces right there. Now we're going to duplicate this piece here and we're gonna bring it around and do the exact same thing for this back piece here. Now we wanna make sure that it's not too wide. So just right inside the creases here. Now let's see, that's good for me, about halfway. Let's go over here, take a look. We'll get right there, perfect. Okay, that looks good. I want to make sure that it's out as far as the others. It looks like the gap is going to be about the same. Okay. Now, we can't just combine all of this together. So we'll select this piece and we're going to select this piece here and we'll combine. Okay. Now we'll select this piece, this piece here, and this cutout and we'll combine. And now we have our functional cutout pieces here for the hinge. All right. That looks good. Okay. Next step, we're gonna 3D print it and see if it works. All right, it looks like that turned out pretty well. We printed this in standard PLA in an orange color 
If you guys make one of these, let me know down in the comments what color you guys picked and what material. This was printed at standard resolution and without supports. And it functions pretty good. If this video helped you out today, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Tinker Time.